How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video. Today I wanted to do an update on the garden and show you guys some of the things that I do and don't like about the garden. Um, it's definitely growing. It's growing crazy. So when we put the beds in, we were in a hurry and we just hurry up and threw some plants in the beds and um, that's this is what we got. We got a mess, but everything seems to be growing pretty good. So let's check it out. So everything seems to be uh, growing pretty good, but I think what we did is, for one thing, we put too much lettuce in. Uh, I've been giving lettuce away, and we've been eating it like it's going out of style. Way too much lettuce. So does anybody know what we can do with lettuce, uh, you know, to preserve it? But I, I don't know. We've been eating it fresh, and we've been eating a lot of it fresh. And I planted three different types of lettuce here. I'm not sure exactly the names of each one of them, but we got one there. Then we have that one there, and then we have that one over there. It almost looks like a spinach. Uh, so next year, we won't plant as much lettuce, for sure. We'll plant maybe a quarter of that. Maybe like two little rows. I think that would work out fine for us. Uh, and then plant something else on the other side uh, One of the biggest problems I had was I actually uh, I put the cucumbers in with the peppers uh, Those cucumbers need their own little bed of their own uh, They have went crazy and they look like a big cousin it. I mean, it's horrible you okay, girl? Somebody must have chased her out of the nest. Um, so let me put this on widescreen and I'll show you how just how big this cucumber patch is. Okay, you see that uh, cucumber patch just a little bit better. That thing is humongo. And it took over a few of the peppers here. And we are starting to get peppers. And there's one down in there. Um, but I think I made a mistake by putting them in the same bed. So, uh, next year, cucumbers in their own bed, peppers in their own bed. Now, the peppers are doing okay. We're getting little peppers in here. But, looks like one here is not doing so well. That's about all the bigger it is. So, here girls. Here. Let's see if they like that. <laughs> Man, they love the garden. If I get a bad cucumber, tomato, or something, it, it, the chickens go nuts over it. But anyhow, the peppers don't look like they're getting really big. But we got tons of them. I mean, look, there's peppers all through these. Uh, we got a couple on this plant over here. They're not very big. Uh, I have no peppers on that plant right there. There's two plants there. I have no peppers on them um, But the cucumbers like I said the cucumbers doing good. We have gotten a million cucumbers off this thing uh, They're just all through here uh, But they're too crowded So that's one thing I don't like is how I planted them too crowded We'll uh, adjust that next year, but like I said that was a spare the moment thing we wanted to get a garden in, and we got a garden in. Now the tomatoes definitely would uh, have their own um, bed by themselves. As you can see, we're getting tomatoes, and they're starting to get ripe a couple. Uh, there's a few on there. One thing I've never seen so bad in all the years I've done gardening was tomato worms. Uh, I come out here one day and got six tomato worms off of these plants. And you can see they just ate them up uh, really bad. It doesn't take long either. A tomato worm can really destroy your tomato plant. Look at this one over here. You can see. I ate about a whole top out of that one and the other one there. But I mean the rest of them are okay. Um... But bad tomato worms here in this area for sure. Uh, I think I've taken a total of probably 10 or so off of these plants. But 6 of them just in one day. So you can see everything seems to be grown good. We're getting tomatoes. I'm not so sure I would want the tomatoes 
in this bed though I don't know uh, the corn is growing it's all grown to an angle we got a couple of trees we want to take this tree right there out and that tree out and back in the back there's two more back there I'm going to take out and that's going to allow us to get a lot more sun in here to the garden and uh, like I said this was all spare the moment thing we threw all this stuff in and it's starting to grow I mean it is growing but uh, the corn is starting to grow and you can see it all wants to lean that direction and that's because it's not getting the proper sunlight uh, most of the sunlight is from down here so that's the way it wants to grow uh, zucchinis I would never put these zucchinis in the same bed with the tomatoes ever again yeah that's just a couple plants in there and they're like what is that 10 it's eight feet wide 10 feet wide this uh, plant is these two plants so uh we are i thought we wasn't going to get any zucchinis but if you look we have one in there and uh that one's about the size i like to eat it's about the size that is good not real big seeds in it and then i see one down in there i got one way down in there so we have one down in there so we're getting a couple zucchinis on there i didn't think we was going to get any zucchinis i really didn't uh i honestly thought we wouldn't get any zucchini at all uh i mean i planted them and they, they're big but they, there just was nothing on them now I don't know if there's a way I can pollinate them, and there's plenty of flower on them, um, but just wasn't seeing the zucchinis. I'll probably get some in. I can't handle them all now. So that is a look at the garden. Uh, if you guys remember when we planted it, let me give you a side view here. As you can see, them beds are full now they say some of them beds you can put 12 inches apart if i'd put them 12 inches apart i definitely wouldn't have got through them uh i think i got 24 inches or better between each bed and that is about the least i would go 24 inches between each bed uh and definitely don't plant the same vegetable in the same bed if you're going to do tomatoes do all tomatoes if you're going to do corn do all corn which we did okay up here the corn did good it's just not getting a lot of sun so next year i'm not sure whether we'll plant the corn we're going to see if we get anything off of it it looks like we might get something off of it but we're definitely only going to do one thing in each bed now we do have the round beds uh for up in here i remember i told you guys we was going to do 36 inch round beds up in here and we will be doing those beds in here we have them i just haven't got them put in yet and i figured really not a big use in putting them in right now because we're probably not going to plant anything in them as you can see the chickens are still loving their big old mulch pile and uh every time i weed in the garden i bring all my scraps and i throw them over here next to the fence or i throw them in the fence there and and they gobble them up uh yeah we're doing pretty good here for the garden but it's just a little crowded that's all just a little crowded and you know you gotta watch them cucumbers they sneak up on you you know you're sitting there and you're you know you're looking and looking and you can't find any cucumbers and then all of a sudden you look the next day and there's like where did this watermelon come from you know it's not a watermelon it's a cucumber but it's huge and that's the same way with the zucchinis if you don't keep an eye on your zucchinis man they go crazy you'll get a zucchini it looks like a watermelon and you don't want that either let's go make zucchini bread i like to i do like the zucchini bread so that's a look at my garden and uh the raised beds they're doing pretty good the chickens are doing good everything seems to be doing good but it'll do better next year because we know what we got to change we know exactly what we have to change so uh yeah don't mix your vegetables in them beds okay everyone that's a look at our jungle garden uh it's doing okay you know we got we made some mistakes but we'll we'll make them up next year we'll take care of those next year 
we were in a hurry when we got this in. We were late. It was late May. It was actually the last of May or something before we even got something in the ground. So next year we'll be on top of it. We ain't got to put the whole garden in. All we got to do is put the plants in. So it'll be a lot easier on us. So uh, we do thank God for what we get out of the garden, no matter what it is. So I would like to tell everyone, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment if you'd like. Until next time.